Right, off to the gym. Oops, forgot me weights. Mustn't forget me weights. I think these are called steps. And they're getting longer. And now what are the puff? What the hell happened, Raymond? Hey? Eh? Well, um, last year I had a stint in hospital. Let's get you on the uh, tripod again, and then I can uh, talk to you properly. Right, sit down here so you can see me. It's a long way down in these days. <laughs> uh. Okay, last year was basically a year of hell. No one else involved, it was just my health. Um, I'll jump ahead a little bit. On January the 31st, I go up to Birmingham and I have a small outpatient operation where, pardon me, where they will use chaosal surgery at the base of my spine and release the sciatic nerve from the arthritic bone that going down my left leg because uh, I get uh, shooting pain down my leg and I had an MRI and they discovered that uh, the arthritic bone was pressing on the um, nerve where it comes out of the spine and uh, that's what I'm going to bury before. Go backwards in time. Um, I went into uh, hospital because um, I had a fall. I suffered with pain with the leg. And um, I thought the nurses were feeding me liquid paracetamol. They weren't. They were feeding me morphine. And because of what I thought, every time they said you've got pain, I had pain, they gave me a, a shot in the mouth with a syringe and I didn't think anything of it. That was until the night I tripped. And that's a night I do not want to go through again. Um, cut long story short, apparently I shouted down the phone at my mate to come and get me. Um, he, bless him, and the doctor tried to get me to stay in the hospital, or it would have been safer for me. But now, Bird Brain here was not enjoying the trip. So now I'm going on. And, oh, well, not a problem. And uh, I was only home for 
three, four days, had another fall down at my mates. And I ended up back in hospital. But there was a load of ambulances in the queue. And when I finally got in, there wasn't any room in A&E for me. So they put me somewhere else. Now from this point on, please do not ask me any questions about where I was put. Because all over the world, every minute of the day, something wonderful is always happening. Saving lives, making other people's lives much better. And that's all I was saying. <clears throat> now, while I was there, I lost two stone in two days. Yeah, slow down, slow down. I, I know that's panic station normally. But I found I had no pain afterwards. All my pain had been derived from my weight pressing on the nerve. Um, the only thing I've had since that time is like a a really bad, what I call cramp ache in my legs and my feet. And uh, it's not there all the time, but I use a stick now um, wherever I go until I've had the operation, just as a, um, a comfort thing so I know I won't fall over. Uh, because I know if I fall again and I'm picked up, I should be end ending up back in hospital no matter what I say. And believe me, I do not want to go there again. Um, I came home and I was in a poor state of health, as you can imagine, losing two stone in such a short space of time. So my daughter, Sharon, she picked me up and took me over there and looked after me for the, for a week and got me eating again because I I had stopped eating um, and uh, after a week I felt fit as a fiddle. Still getting the, the ache but uh, in general fit as a fiddle. Uh, I got home, weighed myself, I was my target weight, which I've been trying to get to for four or five years, 17 and a half stone. And I was over the moon. Um, I'd asked my friend Patrick in Ireland the best way to build my uh, body back up from the shock that I'd been through. Um, because he was a, he's a, an ex, um, chef, he had to leave for uh, health reasons, um, but he's a bloody damn good chef, and he, anyway, he gave me a list of stuff, he said the first thing you want to do is get some milk inside you, that will help tremendously, so, uh, I don't, started drinking milk, blue top, not uh, the uh, green um, milk, green top milk. And I haven't looked back because, well also when I got home and I sorted my food out, I got hold of Sharon who uh, had contact with my grandson and I said, ask Alex if he can uh, organise um, scrap lorry to uh, come and pick up some scrap. So you know, within hours, Alex was organising it. As soon as he knew it was for me, he was there like a rocket. And he came down with the wagon all the way from Kidderminster. 
and the two of them uh, is me and uh, Alex came in and said right what do you want us to do and I said right we'll start with the um, council shed I want all of it out and the previous day I'd gone around with red tape and a red marker marking stuff and I said anything that is red painted or got a marker pen, uh, pen on a mark on it I said uh, that stays everything else goes I don't care if I bought it only yesterday it goes if it hasn't got a red mark on it so they did that that was the council shed down they had a cup of coffee so right what's next I said the office and that's the room in the bedroom and uh, they cleared all that out for me um, then I got them to clear out the uh, front room I haven't got rid of all my bikes and uh, I still have tools but um, if I was going to use it for three months I didn't want it cluttering up so I took that out as well and I said right now you can start in the garden I want everything out of the garden that I don't want and again I've gone around the garden and put tape around stuff I wanted to keep and I said to Alex, I said, anything you see that uh, you think I might have overlooked and want to keep, just leave it where it is. To cut a long story short, again, the lorry went back to Kidderminster, that far above the tyres. They travelled at 30 miles an hour all the way. It was like that loaded. Uh, because I'd got them to um, clear out the garage as well. And then uh, Sharon came down uh, with Alex again and they cleaned up the flat for me. Brilliant. And uh, Alex was out in the garden doing some work for me out there. <coughs> Excuse me. So all in all, um, last year was, yes, enough said about that, but uh, the new year has um, come and started off very well and I intend to keep it that way. Now, you're probably thinking to yourselves, you got rid of tools as well? Yes, I did. If it was in the way, it went. I, I, what you've got to remember is, I was thinking of my health. I was not thinking about stuff that if I needed it in the future, I could buy it again. I'd probably throw out thousands of pounds worth of kit. But I'm not bothered. I was thinking purely of my health and nothing else. I wasn't thinking about anybody else. I wasn't thinking about anything else. I was thinking about me. It's about time I did. Don't you think? Yes. But I've been up and out as is all my life. And uh Bit of me time, eh? Well, people, I think this one's long enough. So uh, I'll upload it. Um, I had hoped to upload it yesterday, which was uh, Sunday. But uh, this is Monday. Um, I'll get it up. Uh, I think you'll like the beginning of this video. I think you had a good laugh at the beginning of this video. So, um... I look forward to talking to you next week. Okay? Yeah. Please.
thumbs up, subscribe down below if you're new here, and uh, hit one of those things that was on a Christmas tree, the bell. Bye people, and a very, very happy new year to you all. May good fortune follow you wherever you go.